Straightallday.com Everybody, Dre Ball and DreAllDay.com. Today we're gonna to talk about the power forward position. And when I talk, when I put out my list of the top five power forwards, I put Blake Griffin in my list, and Blake was getting a whole lot of hate. <laughs> so a whole lot of hate coming to Blake Griffin. A lot of people trying to trying to trash him, saying things like, "Oh, he's soft," or "He can't shoot. He can't dribble. He, he ain't got no moves. All he can do is dunk." Etc. Etc. So the same way I kind of when I did the point guard thing, I kind of defended Russell Westbrook. This one I want to talk about Blake Griffin because I really want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this? Because there are some people who trash him a lot. Not everybody trash him. There's some people who trash him. The thing with Blake Griffin is this: some people said something like he can only jump. Well, let me explain something to those people who say Blake Griffin can only jump, or those who think it and didn't post it in the comments. Being able to jump is a pretty fucking useful skill in basketball. All right, if you can jump, <laughs> you can probably have a, You can probably do something productive with your life as far as a basketball player for a long time. Trust me, I play with a lot of players who really, not talking about Boyd Griffin, but guys who really couldn't do anything but be athletic, and they were a show. They were a show because people wanted to see that guy dunk. They could make money off that. They drew attention off that. They was able to make some type of career off their ability to jump. So when you say a guy can only jump and he's a basketball player, you're saying that that's kind of a takedown? That makes no fucking sense. It's kind of like those of you who was in your teens in the early or, or, or older, in the mid-90s, you know, people were saying about Shaq, oh, he only scored because he's the biggest guy on the court. Well, guess what? Being the biggest guy on the court is an advantage when you're fucking playing basketball. That's part of the game. Being able to jump is part of the game. It's like somebody says, Steve Novak's not good. All he can do is shoot. Well, shooting is a part of the game. So if you can shoot, then that's all you can do. Guess what? If you're good enough at it, you can make a career out of it. Steve Novak makes you know, whatever he makes every year because he can shoot. And he's not really good at anything else. But guess what? That one skill has gotten him a career in basketball. Blake Griffin, let's just say all he can do is jump. If all he can do is jump, like... Actually, let's go back in a little bit in the story. Blake Griffin, we talk about basketball. There's a million, let's say there's a million people in the world who play basketball, right? The NBA got 500. Blake Griffin is an all-star. All-star teams is 12 people on each side, so let's just say 25. All right, so Blake Griffin is one of the top 25 basketball players in the world. He's not a borderline all-star. He's an all-star every year. He even gets voted to start. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, you get voted to start by the fans. The fans think that because he'd be doing dunks. And this is to the naysayers, the Blake naysayers I'm talking to. Okay, well, guess what? The All-Star game is for the fans. So if the fans vote you as one of their top ten favorites, that's pretty fucking good. <laughs> so let's just say Blake Griffin. Let's just say he's in the top 25. He's one of the top 25 basketball players in the entire world out of a million people playing basketball. So, if all he can do is jump, and he's in the top 25 in the world, then I think that's, that's actually, that makes him look good. If he can only do one thing, but he's in the top 25 of the world in, his, in the whole category of basketball of one skill, then he must be pretty fucking good at that one skill, wouldn't you say? That's what I would say. But anyway, let's get to more of Blake's game. People say he don't have any moves. Now, his post moves ain't that great. His footwork is kind of funky. And he uses his athleticism to overcome some of his shortcomings, technical-wise, skill-wise. And we know this. And there are a lot of athletic players, young athletic players, who do the same thing. And they're older players who, as they get older, they never really get that polish. And they do the same thing. Will Blake become player A or player B? We don't know. But Blake Griffin is a super athlete. He's probably one of the top ten, we'll say top five athletes in the whole NBA. One of the top five athletes in all of the sport of basketball, maybe. And guess what? That is a positive. That's part of the game. Being athletic is part of the game. So when you say, oh, he's only athletic, like that means he's not good. Being athletic is good in basketball. Being big is good. Being fast is good. Having long arms is good. Being able to shoot is good. So if you can only do one thing, but you make it to the NBA doing that one thing, then you're fucking good at it. So when people say he can only blah, 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 like that makes no fucking sense. Like he's better than you. So if all he can do is dunk, then what does that say about you? This is to, this is like, again, what I'm saying to the people who are saying, oh, he can only blah, etc., etc. Then they're comparing him to other people. They say, you know, 
Zach Randolph kind of manhandled him in the postseason a few times. He definitely did. Zach Randolph is one of those guys. All basketball players, most basketball players have a guy who's like their, their kryptonite, so to speak. They could be a really good player, a star player all the time, but they got like one or two people. Whenever they play against that person, it just happens to be a tough matchup for them just because the skills match up in a certain way and it makes it a tough competition. Same way that the Miami Heat had pretty much killed the Chicago Bulls even when they had Derrick Rose, destroyed the Bulls twice, four games to one. But the Pacers keep taking the Heat to the brink. They took them to six games and they took them to seven games. It's just how it is, how the Celtics kind of pushed Miami to the brink the year before when LeBron had the big game six. It's just certain matchups that are tough for everybody. Every player has their certain bad matchups. People talk about how Zach Randolph did a great job against Blake, how he kind of killed Blake. He did. He definitely did. The Grizzlies not a good matchup for the Clippers. But look what happened to the Grizzlies in the next round. They got their ass kicked by the Spurs. So things change. There are different bad matchups for everybody. But we can't talk about one seven-game series or six games or five, however long that series was, and say, oh, this guy's better because of that. We got to look at the whole picture. The NBA season is 82 games. Blake Griffin's giving you 18 and 8 pretty much every night. So if all he can do is dunk and he's averaging 18 points in the NBA, then guess what? We all better start dunking because 18 and 8 in the NBA makes you one of the top 10 players in the world. So I want to hear from you people down here in the comments, those of you who are Blake Griffin naysayers or whatever. What is it about Blake Griffin that you think is wrong? I mean, he's shooting. People talk about shooting. Wade Griffin's not a great shooter. I mean, he ain't Chris Bosh, he ain't Tim Duncan, he ain't Kevin Garnett off the jump shot, but he can make a jump shot. He's not a great jump shooter. He's not as good at, his shooting is not as good as his athletic stuff, but he can shoot. He can make a shot. I mean, like I said, he's averaging 18 and 8 in the NBA. You don't average 18 and 8 being only anything. I don't care what, what you want to put after that. Only you averaging 18 and 8 in the NBA, you're pretty fucking good. So you people out there who are, against Blake Griffin, who say he shouldn't be top five because he can't do this and he can't do that. I want you to go into a little bit more detail. Tell me exactly what it is that makes him bad. And if all he can do is dunk, tell me what's wrong with that. <laughs> if this dude's averaging that in the NBA and all he can do is dunk, I mean, that's, that's a positive to me. But if somebody thinks differently, I want you to explain it to me, how you could be top 20 in the whole world, top 25 in the whole world, but all you can do is this as if that's negative because it ain't. But explain it to me. Maybe you have, a, you have a different perspective than I have. I want to hear what you think. Work on your game. Dre all day.